Good afternoon and welcome to Ozarks Live. I'm Blake. And I'm Tammy. And thanks for joining us. Okay, so we have a pretty exciting loaded show today. Before we get yeah. to that, I want to talk about something real fast. What's that? So Squid Games on Netflix. Most people probably heard I've of it by heard now. I've heard the name, but I don't yes. remember what this is. So was. the actual series, I guess, if you will, the scripted version came out, I think about two years ago in 2021. Um, which it was a smaller show that not a lot of people really knew yeah, about because it was remember, it's Korean based Korean like uh -huh. everything is like when you watch it it's dubbed in English kind uh -huh. of thing um, anyway but it gained huge popularity and I don't think that the show creators ever intended for that to happen but now just last week um, they released this new kind of edition of it if you will called Squid Games the Challenge which is the reality TV version of it uh -oh. you know I'm a yeah. sucker for reality TV <laughs> yeah. so how this works is that um, 450 56 contestants, you heard that That's right? That's a lot. From all over the world. Mm -hmm. I think they shot it in London, so they filmed um, this in London on some studio set, I'm sure. Um, but anyway, they all compete in kind of this like make kind of mock reality TV version of Squid Game. So I want to clarify, no one actually dies because in the in the oh. show, people die if they well, like, lose Squid Games. Well, I'm glad that They don't actually That'd die, really but there's, show to watch. there's a very kind of like goofy, cringy way that everyone like goes out, which is kind of funny. But anyway, it is one of my favorite reality TV shows I've seen this whole year. Really? It's is it so because, good. Is it sheer madness? I mean, that's what it sounds like. With yeah, absolutely. The thing is, it's just so unexpected uh -huh. because sometimes you get eliminated because you lose a game or you don't do something right in the game of the challenge that you're playing in, right? But sometimes it's all based off alliances and like the announcers or whatever will be like, okay, everyone get in a line, pick a leader. And like, let's say I pick you as a leader. Okay, well now you have to save someone. So let's say you save me and then I, you just keep going one by one saving people. And then all of a sudden they're like, okay, there's 10 of you left, you're all eliminated. Oh. So it's just like random things that keep happening on how you get so out. So how do you have any strategy if it's a bunch of random things? You just don't. I think. Is that why you like it? Uh, kind of, yeah, because it's just like so unexpected. And <laughs> yeah. it's kind of interesting the way they've edited the whole thing because you, you know, we, we fall for certain contestants on the show. And oh. so there's certain ones you fall for their stories. They're just how they're playing the game, whatever. Again, and then all of a sudden. editing that to look like that. Well, yes. It's just, you know, they can pick out one little thing and make it look yeah. like a huge thing. But what's so funny on the show is uh -huh. like they make, it's the way they edit it. It's like you fall for these certain people and then five minutes later they're eliminated. <laughs> so that's the thing. Like I will say I'm I'm almost done with the series now. The, um, the last batch was released, I think last night. Um, how many were there? I think there's nine episodes altogether. Okay. But it's funny because That's like funny. the final people you would never guess would be in the final. So it's just a very interesting, it's a good watch if you're a reality TV person or a fan of Squid Games. Show. Yes, Sounds check it out good. on Thanks, Netflix. <laughs>